Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie and welcome to the NZMCA Caravan Motorhome and Leisure Show in 2023. All right, so we've come up to Hamilton um, for the show, another motorhome show. Yeah, yeah, another one to check out. It's always fun having a look, even though we're not in the market. Yeah. Having a look and seeing all the new things that have come out each year. We're notoriously bad for buying things at these shows. Yeah. Um, we've bought a motorhome before and a caravan, but this year we're not going to buy anything, except for <laughs> lunch maybe. Um, the weather, mm, looking like it might rain soon. <laughs> um, so we're going to get the kids ready and then head into the show. You can stay here on site as well, which I'll uh, talk about a bit later on. But yeah, should we go have a look? Yep, let's yeah, check it out. Let's do it. Well, it is so busy here. It's uh, started raining outside, so we didn't get to look at much outside before um, the rain came down. We ran inside, but so did everybody else. Um, so here at this motorhome show, there's a giant building, the pavilion they call it, and um, it's probably a third of the exhibitors are inside and the rest are outside, but everyone came inside. So it's very hard to move around. I'm hiding in a nice bathroom at the moment of a caravan, but um, yeah, the kids are getting a little bit scratchy already and it's kind of 9.30. But we're going to have a look around, I think, inside and hopefully the rain lets up because it looks like there's some cool things outside. There's an expandable caravan I want to try and track down that kind of triples in size. Um, I think you push a button and it expands. I think that's outside somewhere, so I'm going to suss that out soon, but yeah, hectic. We always like looking at the old Rockwoods because um, they're a big American brand, I think, but they are huge. Look at this. And sometimes when we're out on the road and it was winter, we dreamed of this sort of space, big bunks, big slide out. Probably a monster to tow around New Zealand, to be honest. But um, if you're going to live or if you had a nice piece of land to park it up on, pretty cool. There's even a spot for the dog and me. Where? Down here. So we're just having a look at RV Supercenter. They are the ones that do all those ex-rental motorhomes. Um, you see like Maui and all the rentals in New Zealand and after a certain number of years they sell them. And that's how we actually got Rosie number two. Rosie two. Uh, it was pretty affordable back then. I think that one was like 65,000 we paid for Rosie two at one of these shows actually. Um, so it's quite a good way to get into the market sometimes. So they've kind of modified these a bit and they used to have a table here and two seats and we never really liked it because you had to take the table out to get the car seats in. But now they've kind of made this sort of booth seat. There are two seat belts here, and one here, and then oh, another little seat over here. So you could get three, four kids in here easy. You know, put them all the kids up the top, and then the back sort of folds down to make a bed. Good up there? It's massive up there. They also do these smaller sort of four berth ones, drop down bed over the lounge at the back, so two beds and a couple of seats up there. but. Yeah, they're quite neat as well. The Kia Breeze is the small one. So I was hanging out to see this caravan, but this is the Boa. It's a French brand, probably not pronouncing that right, sorry if you're French. But this expands three times the size, so it's small, it's under a ton, and at the push of a button, one side comes out and the other side comes out, and it triples in size. 
pretty ingenious design. It's fully kitted out like off grid solar. There's a flexible solar panel on the roof. Um, really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to come back in a little bit and see them closing it because I think that'd be quite neat to watch. But under a ton, really small to tow, and um, tons of room. Look at that and storage. Really neat design. It's cool to see this sort of thing at these uh, shows. I think me and Harvey might buy this one. <sighs> All right, well, super busy day at the show. Um, pretty cool things um, to see. That little expandable caravan I really liked. Uh, I love seeing things like that at the show. Uh, the Romato was there as well, that giant USB looking drive one, which I think we went through in the Auckland show we went to last time. But yeah, pretty good day, pretty busy, um, rained on and off. I always think when I when I film these videos, I'm like, I'm going to bring you guys like a nice 45 minute video. I'm going to do detailed tour of this brand and that brand and this caravan. And then the reality is in the show, you're kind of just running around. You're waiting for people to come out. You're going into one. There's five people in there. There are a few times when I filmed and I turn around and like the salesperson's just standing behind me, like staring at me while I'm vlogging. Um, so it never quite pans out, especially with kids as well. It never quite pans out uh, how you want. But hey, that's all part of the fun. Um, so like I said, I think up the top, you can stay on site here. There's If you're an NZMCA member, because this is an NZMCA run show, they have an event park and stay. It is $10 for the whole weekend to stay here. Um, they do have powered sites as well available. So there's toilets here, uh, no rubbish or anything like that. You sort of pack and pack out, but not, not so bad. So. You can come up as early as Thursday night, I think, and you, if you wanted to do all three days at the show, you get the multi-day pass and you could stay here the whole weekend for $10. So what we're probably going to do is stay tonight as well and then head into maybe like the zoo or into the city tomorrow and just do something with the kids. I um, mean, might as well while we're up here. Dogs allowed as well, which is pretty cool. So not bad. $10. That'll do. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to have a bit of dinner. Um, they also open up the uh, eating area of the show. Um, at night for people that are staying here. So after the show closes at 5, they open it up. What's it called, Chelsea? Seat and eat, something like that. But you can go over to all the food trucks over there and have dinner as well. So yeah, it looks like it might rain again. Not sure if we'll do that. We might head into town, but just another option when you're staying here at the show. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's a yeah. fun weekend. Nice to get away. School holidays. Yeah, we're going back to back to back this weekend, <laughs> uh, this weekend, these school holidays. So we're going to go away for all three weekends of the school holidays. So we're going to go home now, reset, wash some clothes, and then get back out there, which is pretty yeah, funny. It's a bit of work in between. Oh yeah, got to <laughs> the reason we're coming back. Got to work this week. <laughs> yeah, forgot about it. Um, thanks to all of you that stopped us and yeah. said hello. Um, we were pleasantly surprised yeah. that like that we got stopped and like, hey, how are you? Yeah, um, a lot of people. Channel. A lot of people are very apologetic about stopping mm. us to say hi. Don't be. Don't yeah, be. We don't love be. chatting to you guys. So yeah. please, if you see us out and about, come and say hi. Yeah, exactly. Uh, run over and hug me out of the blue if you like. like <laughs> Yvonne. Yvonne yeah, if you're watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really nice just to meet you guys and to hear your stories about yeah. being out on the road and that sort of thing. So we yeah. love that. So yeah. And really cool to bump into a bunch of you that we've met while traveling mm. around as well. There were quite a few that we saw um, that we'd met when we were in the South Island, yeah. it was really neat to have a catch up. So, yeah, it's yeah. neat to see you. Yeah. So we'll go home now. Uh, we will reset and then, yes, yeah, stay tuned because we've got a couple more yeah. adventures come up and kind of a longer, we've got some time off towards the end of the school holidays. Two weeks from now, we've got a pretty cool trip planned or mm -hmm. we need to plan it. We need to plan it. <laughs> so we'll go home and do that as well. We've got an idea. <laughs> we've got an idea and that's about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.